Welcome YouTubers to another video. Uh, today's sponsor of the video is the coldest water bottle. If you want to drink the coldest water out there possible that holds it for 24 hours plus, check out the coldest water bottle. Use the link below, code Flankster, to get 10% off. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about Prime One's next level showcase and my predictions of what I think we're going to be seeing in today's video later today because as you guys know i will be streaming this live to give my live reactions so in the past events i would say last year was kind of disappointing uh the year before was awesome there's usually always about two to three bangers like really big grails holy crap i can't believe they did that you know like not last year, but the prior year is when they did Godzilla vs. Kong and Jetwing Optimus. And I believe Predator. Uh, you know, like three bangers. Like, boom, boom, boom. Wow. Those were like the three of the most impressive statues I've ever seen. So, this year's Next Level X. Meaning it's their 10 year anniversary. It's been around 10 years I still remember when Prime 1 first came into place, you know, and they were coming out with their Turtles and Transformer statues. That was their very first statues they were starting to come out with, and I was very impressed with them right from the beginning. You know, their Turtles, seeing them at San Diego Comic-Con videos, and then finally getting them in person, you know, getting Optimus and Megatron and Bumblebee, ooh. You know, and they were so impressive back then, and they're still impressive now. They've held up. They're still very impressive statues. Now... This year will be very interesting because it is their next level X. So usually at like 10 year anniversaries or what anniversaries in general, they always try to go big. Uh, however, we're also in an economic recession right now, a downturn, you know, but here's one thing I've noticed. We've been seeing constant sales with Sideshow. Like every other day, there's this massive sell with Sideshow. 10% off, 15% off, buy one, get one, 50% off. They just announced another Geeks Giving, and man, it's just wild how many sells. So clearly, Sideshow's been struggling pretty hardcore to get sales. There's no doubt about it. Otherwise, they wouldn't be doing all these sales. They don't want to be losing money, but they have to do sales because stuff is not selling. However, Prime One isn't doing these sales. Prime One does two sales a year. Their winter sale and the other sale, uh, like the summer sale or whatever. So two sales a year. And it's not even, like sometimes it's pretty good sales, like 30% off. Others uh, a lot, like 10 to 20%. And this is just stuff that hasn't been selling good. However, they haven't been doing it every other day sell like Sideshow, which tells me they're doing better off than Sideshow. You know, and there's a reason for that. You know, Prime One provides the best products out there, hands down. Not necessarily for life-size busts, but when it comes to one-third scale statues and the amount of licenses, their concepts, Prime One is unrivaled. Uh, you know, I don't think Queen or Infinity comes even close yet. Uh, they do on the bus category, no doubt. You know, Queen and Infinity are king on bus, but when it comes to statues, Prime One, no doubt. Uh, and statues is what the majority of people collect. There's less bus collectors out there. So I think Prime One's still doing good, which makes me think that this next level showcase is going to be a big one. And they're going to showcase a lot of stuff. We're going to see, I mean, we saw in the teaser trailer, there's going to be some Transformers. So we'll probably see Sideswipe. I'm guessing another Bumblebee, maybe an action-oriented one. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what they do. I really want a Megan Fox. Oh, that'd be such, you know, just make it a one-third scale Megan Fox. Even one-fourth, I'll take it. Make it a Blitzway collab. One-fourth Megan Fox, I would instantly buy that. I think that'd honestly be a huge hit among a lot of collectors. Just because she was everyone's crush back then. You know, I'm not happy with some of her changes over the years. I think she's gotten worse, you know, with all the surgeries. But back in Transformers 1, she was perfect. But, yeah, we're definitely going to see Transformers. We're obviously going to see a lot of Batman, and it's all going to be comic-related. We may see one Batman movie statue. The question is, what? If I was to guess, a one-third Nightmare Batman from Justice League Snyder Cut. 
you know, possibly in like this costume, maybe even Joker, uh, you know, from that one scene, possibly even Deathstroke. Now, Deathstroke would be one I would want. Joker, maybe not, probably not. But I would love a Deathstroke. You know, movie Joe Magnolia, even though we'll probably never see him in that costume again, uh, that would still be a sick looking statue. Just because I do love Deathstroke. And I love him most because of Arrow Season 2. But we will see a lot of Batman. I'm guessing at least 5 to 10 Batman statues. Probably 2 to 3 Transformer statues. We will see definitely some video game statues because it seems like Prime 1 is pretty big on the video game stuff. So, I mean, if they were smart, they would release a God of War Ragnarok statue. I'm still playing the game. I think I might beat it today or tomorrow. I've been playing hardcore lately and it is such a masterpiece. So if they were smart, they'd do a God of War Ragnarok while it's hot. You know, you always got to, you want to do what's hot at the moment. And obviously that's the biggest video game of the year and in many recent years. Uh, so, also Elden Ring, they did announce the license last time, but we never saw a statue. So it will be interesting what statue they do. I'm guessing a villain, uh, like a boss. I'm really hoping for The Last of Us. I mean, they sh showed the license two years ago, and we've seen nothing since. Same with Prime 1 Frieza, where we saw a teaser of him with his arms, you know, open to the side. We still have not seen anything yet. So let's see on, you know, if they do any more Dragon Ball Z. I would think they would, just because it seems like Goku and Vegeta were a huge success. So why would they stop? If anything, I think it's due to licensing why they would stop. So that I think that's the only thing preventing like Freezer or other DBZ characters licensing. Uh, Last of Us, I'm, I'm sure they know it's going to be an absolute, you know, hit. So it has to be licensing that's holding it back. You know, trying to get license or approval. I'm sure the statue's probably been done for a while, and they're just waiting for license or approval. They also, uh, you know, announced last time they were going to do a Mortal Kombat movie statue, like a Sub-Zero. They'll probably do Sub-Zero and Scorpion. It'd be very interesting to see how, how those turn out. I really hope to see those this, you know, event. One thing I'd love is just them to get the Marvel license. I feel like the MCU license... I don't know. I mean, it's, there's more that could be done. Prime One could give it more justice than some of the other companies that take forever and then release statues that I don't think it give the character true justice. But unlikely we'll see Prime One get the, like, Marvel MCU license. You know, in addition to, like, their Star Wars license that definitely no company has truly captured. I think Sideshow got the has the Star Wars licenses and probably has hogged it so no one else can get it. And Sideshow's done a terrible job with the Star Wars license. Uh, you know, all their side, Star Wars statues are boring. <laughs> so boring. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, we'll see about that. But I also think Prime 1... Let's see, what else will they be doing? They're always going to do what's hot. They can't do Black Panther. They, I'm sure they don't have the license. Black Adam, it's possible they could continue and do a Doctor Fate one-third statue. You know, the movie just released. I think it depends on Black Adam's cells. Like, if the cells of the statue did good, uh, then I think they would make more. The problem is I still see the Vigilante version is still available at a 300 ES. So if that's not sold out, then it's unlikely we get a Dr. Fate or a Hawkman or any of the other characters. So I think that's unlikely. But if they were to do another, I think it'd be Hawkman. Or, I'm sorry, Dr. Fate. That would be the character to get. I would not buy it, though, personally. I'm only wanting Black Adam. So... Yeah, I think it'll be very interesting. Uh, here's one thing I noticed as well. Prime 1 is going to Tokyo Comic Con, and I really wish I could go. Uh, unfortunately, I just can't. But they said they're going to have 130 full-size statues. 130. Obviously, probably 60 or 70 of that is going to be older statues. You know, they're not going to do 130 new statues. But I would wager at least 70 to 80 percent of those are going to be old statues and 20 percent will be new statues because i you know i remember when i went the first thing i saw was this entire line it blew my freaking mind 
I really hope they show Darkseid and Steppenwolf with this entire line. I am so eager to see how Darkseid and Steppenwolf look. You know, like they're going to be like that tall, just towering over everyone. And I really want to see how they look. You know, that will be something I really want to see. But yeah, Tokyo Comic Con is going to be absolutely sick. If you're in Japan and it's, I believe, next week, then that is the thing to go to. When I went, it was an absolute just like, I was in statue heaven. So, yeah, that will be very interesting. We'll definitely see, you know, I'll do some uh, videos on that when we, you know, get some pics on Facebook. But, yeah, I'm real excited for this Prime 1 showcase. These things are always very exciting. Although, here's the thing. I am really trying to slow down in collecting. So, you know, the only statues I'm really looking to pre-order that they're going to be showcasing is going to be Last of Us. Potentially Elden Ring. And some Lord of the Rings. That's the other thing that I think they'll be show, showing off is Lord of the Rings. I want to see Gandalf, Saruman, and... I mean, that's really all I really need, but... I mean, they did tease Boromir last time, but we still haven't seen his statue, so... Maybe they'll show off, you know, a few Lord of the Rings. Uh, hopefully, you know, because I do think that's one of their better lines. But, yeah, I mean, that, those are the only statues I'm really looking to even P.O. from Prime 1. Would be Last of Us and Lord of the Rings. Uh, DBZ, I mean, it would truly have to impress me. And then, of course, I'd have to sell one of my existing DBZ to fund it. I am in that position right now where I really can't pre-order anything without selling something. Due to, one, I don't want my collection look cluttered. And two, it needs to fund it. Uh, so, yeah, we will see. We will see. But if you haven't already, be sure to hit the bell notification for the live video later today. Where I'll be doing it live and giving you guys my live reaction, what I think of each statue and so forth. Uh, and yeah, I, was, I will see you guys tonight. And then I'll do a video the following day on probably like the hits and misses of that video. That is it. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.